So, a little bit of progress. Progress. This came in the mail today. Uh, kind of got, I wouldn't say taken, but confused because when I bought this, there's two of them in the picture. And I didn't go down and read the fine print to see that it was quantity one. So this thing cost me $16 for one. Which I'm not too bummed about it because it doesn't, it's the right thread here. It's a 16 millimeter thread. But you see how they have this counterboard in here so much that that's not going to make it. It also hits on this counter bore a little bit, um, but I can probably, once I get the crush washer in there, I don't, maybe it'll fit. Otherwise, I can chuck it in the lathe and take a little bit off of that. But I le believe taking off, taking off anything of this one, you wouldn't have a fitting left. So. I think I'll have to see if I can get one that's going from a 16 millimeter to 3 eighths NPT instead of half inch for that one. So we didn't buy something we don't need. I think we can make this one work here. But now we have to buy another one. <laughs> Probably another $16. So that's more money there. But we happened to make a free score. Came across this. I was asking around for chunks of tailpipe that would bolt onto a flange like this. And this this and the other side, I only need this one, was bolted to a pipe like that. And it didn't cost me anything. Um I was reading the date code here, 1970, and the part number looks like it says D0 OE D0 OE 8430 D. But when I look on the online with all the manifolds that are listed, this is actually a 9. I don't know why it shows up as an 8. So it's a 1970 302 passenger side manifold, which is perfect. That's what I need. It looks like it's almost the twin to what I have on the other side for the Mustang II manifold. Um, this one is just too big, I think. So let's go find a tape measure and see how far it's coming over from... Well, let's choose this dowel pin. All right, so we're bumped up on dull pin. I would eyeball that as six inches, possibly five and three quarter. We'll just call it six. So let's take that off and throw the other one on. All right, that's looking good right there. I already did measure this and put a straight edge off from the manifold and it's like three and five sixteenths so we were about here before <laughs> it's unbelievable that's a huge difference well, hopefully i can create a downpipe quick enough but i think that'll be awesome Maybe I can still put the battery box here. Awesome. All right, so we got a little bit of torquing done. We got the intake manifold all torqued down. Um, the water pump is all torqued down. The new water neck came in. That's uh, just kind of put on there. I don't have a thermostat in there yet. Um, I'd like to try to flush this block out. There's some drain plugs on the side that have quite a bit of corrosion in there. So, 
being a marine block, it's probably got a lot of stuff in there. So I want to hook the garden hose up to that when I get it outside. But we got the ignition coil mounted better. I, I pounded the uh, tab down flat. So that should be good. It's pretty sturdy. Got my heater hose elbow in. Decided to kind of follow around, make the two hoses meet up here, then go back to the firewall. Um, got the, the hose here. I gotta order another 16 millimeter adapter yet. Wait for the barbs to come in. Um, I'll have to get another one of those because I ordered both of them as half inch NPT. So that's always fun. Got the carb studs in. Um, valve covers are tightened down. I'm not sure which one was on which side originally, but I, while it was sitting here, I used to have that one on this side. But I switched them around because I have the PCV can installed on that side of the car, so it'll be a shorter run to that. Makes only makes sense. Um, I cleaned out the threads on the manifold. I bought this used, um, so they all seem good. They're just full of dirt. These are these two are three A's. The throttle one. This is the only one that was tapped. I gotta drill that one out and tap it to five sixteenths. Um, so when we come up with the throttle thing, we'll do that. So what else did I do? Yeah, um, I found the flywheel that came with this. I'm a little more confused because the double hole um, kind of winds up with the the flywheel or the uh, counterweight in the flywheel, but it's offset by a little bit. So I, I want to get the, the one from the Mustang and compare the two. Maybe it was never installed right on here. Um, but the funny thing is that flywheel don't have a hole in it e either. I'm just looking at the dirt mark on the back side of the flywheel. Um, another thing I noticed too, I took the belt off of the Pinto engine, just kind of put it up here to check pulleys. Uh, if I pull it tight here and look down, it's off by, I don't know, less than an eighth inch. This pulley could go back an eighth inch more. Actually, yeah, I think that's probably what it would be, but my only option would be to shim the, the crank pulley. Uh, but I think if it don't pop the belt off, it's staying that way. Um, so, I think I'm going to work on pulling the carburetor off of here tomorrow and putting it on here. Start working on that linkage and then I have to roll the motor over, start putting on the oil pump and all this stuff, oil pan gasket. Here's my carb spacer full of dog hair so hopefully I can replace this with the carb cheater spacer eventually and um, kind of took the wire wheel and cleaned out both of these mantle folds Pretty crowded and rusty. So in my in my Rock Auto cart I had 
selected Mustang 2 V8 probably for like a 77 or something like that. So I went back, since this is a 70 Mustang, I checked the part number for that and it said for four barrel, I don't know why it would be different, but for four barrel, it was the same exact part number. So that's good. In my opinion, it comes with both of the muffler bearings or whatever you call them. That'll be interesting. Uh, yeah, get the carburetor on and then we'll have to flip it over, take care of the bearings and the oil pan and then flip it back over again with all this on and run that fuel line because I want the distributor here before I run that fuel line. I don't know. This is, I think, where you used to mount the coil, but hopefully that Edelbrock fuel line will come in and the gauge, and I can have everything here uh, to mock up that fuel line. So, yeah, we'll see how tomorrow goes. I think this was originally on a valve cover one of the corners, I think. I think this one here. Uh, I don't know, just kind of keep it around in case I can use it on something. So I think that's it. Enough for today. Um, I gotta see if I ordered wire plug wires for the for the red truck over here. It's got a 351 in it. If I did, I'm stealing them and I'm putting them on here. Gotta save a little bit of money. About, about at the motor mount bolt hole and that's like 19 inches I assume that's pretty close to the bottom of the hood and here is the air cleaner that I planned on using it's Mr. Gasket Get out of there. 14 inch I've already measured to the carburetor without the air cleaner on, and it's a disapp disappointing number. So, right about here. <laughs> Best as I can eyeball it, 22 and a half. Well, maybe <sighs> 21 and a half. So we're gonna be sticking out of the hood. One, two, two and a half, three inches. <clears throat> Pretty much the whole air cleaner. <laughs> so I think when I bought this air cleaner, maybe they, some of the reviews said that Edelbrock with an electric choke won't work. And I think it, it does hit on that choke before Anyway, it does. It hits. <laughs> it's right here. So the one I'm trying to get off of here does not have electric choke. So that should be fine. All right. So got the bottom portion of what I'm imagining for the throttle cable bracket. Uh, halfway chiseled out. Kind of out along there for that intake runner um, so the plan is to have another piece of angle iron come up straight straight up like this with a flat coming out this way that I can 
put the notch in to mount the cable. So let's get that done. So I can only go so high before I hit the hit the air cleaner. So let's see. Let's get it cut. Okay, so this is what I got so far. Made this top piece. Decided to just bolt it on instead of weld it. Um, I don't know what I had going on here, but I made that way too long. And then I was laying out just exactly where the, I was laying out exactly where the Pinto would snap in. I went and measured the ball stud on the other carb. So, what it comes out to be is the center of the cable has to be right here. So I cut this one too short. I need to have, need to have it stick out probably another three quarters of an inch or more. So that's great. I think I'll remake this. Um, I think I need to probably eat something first. Yeah, probably eat something first. All right, I remade the bottom piece here. Um, so I guess I'm gonna have to lay out where I need to cut through here again for the actual uh, throttle cable mount. So I guess I'll do that the way I was doing that before. Just taking my square here. Tighten that up. Coming off of the face of that lever there. And then measuring off of that straight edge. I need to go 7 16 plus a half inch. 7 16 is from the plate here to the center of where the ball would be and a half inch is from the center of where this cutout will be to the center of the ball of that so it better all work because we're gonna find out if it works once the engine goes in all right so I got the bracket with the, uh, the slot cut in it. It fits right in this groove on the throttle cable. So the only thing I have to do yet is drill a hole for this mounting screw. On the Pinto bracket it was mounted like directly to the right of it, but if I hold this cable by hand and try to position it out to where the carb might be this this gets like a, a memory to it so it, it has a natural spot it wants to be so I think we'll wait to drill that hole when that time comes but otherwise I think this is gonna work so a little bit of a tight bend on this cable just hope it works Seems to flow pretty good. But let's try and cut some of this extra weight off of here. It's kind of overkill. Alright, cut some of that off of there. Doesn't look quite so overkill. I guess to me it still does, but um, I think I want to put a hole down here for a return spring. I took this one off the Mustang. It's a little bit too long to do that, but I'll put a hole there and find a spring that'll work. Um, so I think I'll take it apart, clean it up with a flapper wheel, and paint it black. All right, so I got the 750 carb off for the Mustang here. I didn't realize this was like a spread bore under there. You can 
can tell that the uh, opening of the Edelbrock is overlapping like a quarter of an inch there. So I think whatever whatever this thing is that's not even hooked up to anything needs to be oh man a lot of silicone is that some kind of EGR thing that's plugged up it looks like I don't know nasty like I got some stuff to clean up here. Oh. Oof -ta. It's kind of rusty down there too. Holy crap. That's no good. with the light on. Yeah, it's kind of rusty. I don't know what the hell is going on with this thing. shove some rags down in there. I have a feeling I should take this intake manifold off. Great. Okay, so I got the carburetor on, the 750 off of the Mach 1, which I didn't think about it, but I wanted to pull that back in the garage before I pulled the carburetor off. Not thinking too clear this weekend. But anyway, Throttle cable brackets all painted up. The uh, VHT spray can didn't spray very well, so it's pretty spotty paint job. Good enough. I uh, got some plastic nipple caps on there. The one that was on here <laughs> must have been leaking on there. It was a all blowing out it was a rubber one I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here if I'm just gonna plug that or do I need to put something there I don't have power brakes um, PCV I think I'm gonna have come through the front and carb cheater will probably come in underneath this if I replace that phenolic spacer with the one they supply so I don't know that I, I need this. I suppose I have a vacuum gauge. Vacuum gauge could probably go on one of these. Maybe I'll just plug that. But yeah, it's could use a cleaning, but I don't know. I I I just wanna get it done. I noticed that this one didn't have the gasket on here, so I'm going to steal that off the other one and put that on here. So let's put that air cleaner on. Looks pretty good. Sure, leave you enough stud sticking out the top. I suppose they don't know if you're going to put a spacer on or what, but I think I'd like to find a better wing nut 
than the stamped kind. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. I was kind of hoping that would all stay under the hood, but oh well. One more step closer to a tunnel ram. All right, well, I made a trip to AutoZone. Got terminals for the coil. It's the heat shrinkable kind. Ultra copper for the exhaust manifolds. I think I'm going to put it around the muffler bearings because they're very pitted. Picked up this. I probably shouldn't have bought this, but the hose barb for the heater. Um, I have stainless ones coming. We'll get to that. Throttle springs. Uh, we'll get to that. And I bought a thermostat. 160 degree. Mr. Gasket. So we got that put in. Here's the hose barb. I think it's bottoming out in this fitting before the threads actually make a seal. So might have to cut off a couple threads. We'll see when the uh, other ones come. Uh, I just got a message that they shipped today. So that's that. I'm a little worried about, now that I see how long this is. How the hell am I going to get that to fit in there with this hose? So, I think the ones I ordered have multiple barbs on them, so I might have to cut one of them off. We'll see. Uh, bought a plug, put the plug in. Just kind of messing with these springs. I don't know why they don't make them the same length. If you don't stretch them all the way out, the short one, or the, <clears throat> the long one isn't doing anything. So, of course they're too long for my setup. I think I could drill a hole here. I've got it all scratched up already. Drill a hole here and hook to, hook to here. So, come down there. I have to go down farther because I think when I bring it up like this, the spring will run into that set screw down there. So that was a hundred dollar trip. hundred bucks don't get you much these days. Um, I'm going to see if I actually ordered this. That's probably in a shopping cart, but I need that to get the fuel line finished. So, yep, I think this is probably all I'm going to accomplish this weekend. Um, Got to flip it around, do the oil pump and oil pan and all that, distributor. We'll see. Maybe I'll take care of that during the week. It's not too hot out. <clears throat> 